Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Chris Bustad, and I run the Takeover Shop, where I sell editing assets for content creators. And today, as you can see by the title, we are doing a Lightroom tutorial on how to create film looks. And I'm going to consider this a masterclass because we're going to do three unique looks all in one video. And then at the end, if you guys want to go ahead and like skip the uh, the creating of these presets for yourself, then you could actually go ahead and cop them on my website. Link will be down below. So make sure to go cop them if you want them. But if you don't want to go ahead and buy that, that is perfectly fine. I'm going to be giving this away for free as long as you input the presets yourself. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. You save the presets and then you have these exact presets. So anyways, guys, this is going to be a banger video. We're going to be editing a photo of Billie Eilish, Sabrina Carter, Carpenter and also Post Malone. And I'm actually like very stoked to be doing this. Like I love editing photos. It's actually where I got my creative start. I know most of you guys know me from my short from content, but I got started as a photographer and I absolutely love the workflow of editing photos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, we have this photo of Billie Eilish. I actually just found all of these photos on their Instagrams, but we're going to go ahead and get started with Billie Eilish doing the black and white film look. So we're just pretty much going to go from like top to bottom of the list exposure. You guys want to go ahead and do 0 0.69, 0 0.7. Honestly, just increase it just a tad. Um, actually, for this photo, you really don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and increase it. I'm going to do all of my exact same settings on this photo. And then later, once you guys save the preset, we'll go ahead and tweak this to make it look better. Highlights, we want to go ahead and do 0 0.83 shadows, negative 0.19 very very subtle effect or negative 19 sorry negative 19 and then that'll be it for the curve we're going to go ahead and make a pretty unique curve not going to lie so we're going to bring it down to about right here we're going to bring this up a little bit like just like so maybe bring this down just a little bit more just like so and then we're going to go ahead and come down we're going to bring the shadows down a little bit almost just like so right on just like that we're gonna lift the shadows a bit lift this a bit as well so let's go ahead and actually just increase this a bit there we go probably just do something just like that and as you can see this photo is like pretty much a little bit overexposed but just ignore that for now just copy these exact settings so now we're gonna go over to texture which are in the effects oh and real quick because this is gonna be black black and white just throw some monochrome sorry completely forgot that's the first step anyways back to the effects we're gonna skip everything over here because this all involves color we don't need to affect the color texture we're gonna leave at negative 31 clarity we're gonna go to negative 17 and dehaze we're gonna put up at eight killer so that looks really good now it is time for grain and grain honestly is personal preference honestly i've been liking the subtler amounts of grain turning the size down and just kind of like maybe playing with the size of grain just like so kind of adds like more of like that grungy look grain is pretty much pure preference you don't need grain but i just like it for that film look so that is the before and after of the black and white film look and honestly i think this looks really really great since you guys just finished your first preset i'm going to go ahead and show you how to make this an actual preset so you want to go ahead and open the preset tab you want to go to hit plus and then honestly just name it black and white film look and then you just make sure all of the uh the boxes are checked that you want checked um, which are pretty much all of these and then you just go ahead and hit save and it'll save inside of this list for me i just named it 35 millimeter black and white film preset just to keep it simple but uh, yeah that's pretty much it for that let's go ahead and move on to the next effect before we continue on with this tutorial i just want to let you guys know that the viral hooks editing pack is out now if you've ever struggled with short from content chances are it's because of the hook and i get it i've literally edited close to 500 plus short from pieces of content and only now have i decided to just automate that entire process so what's in the pack you get 10 hooks already made for you so literally all you have to do is just drag and drop the template replace the text replace the icon and you're good to go it comes to six plus textiles which are pretty much just popular textiles that a lot of the bigger guys use so if you want to save time editing and save yourself the time of content ideating for a hook this is the pack for you it genuinely saves me so so much time i genuinely used to spend 25 minutes but now it's a three minute process to create hooks meaning i can create more content in less time and for you as an editor that means you can create more content less time which means you can make more money so go ahead check it out link will be down in the description below so this this effect i honestly just call it the 35 millimeter film preset and it kind of just adds like that warm nostalgic vintage look to these photos nothing too too crazy but just enough to like add like that vintage vibe so 
the exposure we're actually just gonna leave the same uh, I don't play with the exposure the contrast we're gonna delete some contrast so negative 69 pause <laughs> and then uh, highlights we're gonna go to 29 shadows negative 68 whites we're gonna go to 44 negative 44 blacks we're gonna go to 25 and then the curve we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of crush the highlights a bit make this a little bit more round and then also just feather this in just a little bit to get a little bit of that deeper sort of tone and so far we're actually doing pretty well like so far the image actually looks pretty good definitely a lot better than like what it was like this is just like it seems like a regular like iphone or digital camera like none too crazy but this is where we're at we're already getting to like that film look which is great so now we want to go ahead and change the temperature to plus 11 just incorporate a little bit of like warm tones tints negative two a little bit of green nothing too crazy though we don't want to go nuts with it and now we actually want to go to our color grading and our color grading is actually going to be very very simple just in the shadows just just the slightest amount towards the magenta hue literally just like the slightest amount just like so and it really you probably can't tell the difference but it's just adding like a super super subtle magenta hue um like you genuinely don't really want to see the difference like i can see the difference but on youtube the settings might look a little different now moving on we have like sort of the film look we just got to go ahead and add some grain again personal preference on the size this is kind of like the ratio that i like to keep it i don't like to go crazy with grain because it kind of just looks like too scratchy and like doesn't look legit find this to be kind of about right maybe add a little bit of roughness maybe turn the size down just a little bit more make it more detailed and sick that's look number two completed we are finished with it. It looks really, really good. Again, here's like the before and after on screen. So you can kind of see like the differences, what it does to the image and moving on. Now for the last preset, we have a 35 millimeter film flash preset and we're gonna be using a picture of Post Malone on set with uh, Morgan Wallen, Chris Villa. It's just a dope photo, honestly. Like I actually really like this photo. It's, I, I, it's a flash photo, so I knew it was gonna be perfect for this preset. So let's go ahead and build the preset together. So for this one, we are, because it is a flash preset, we're gonna increase the exposure to like close to one. Um, you can do a little bit less, a little bit more. I'm honestly just gonna like really kind of like blow it out a little bit. So about like one, we're gonna go to contrast. Again, negative 69. These settings are very similar to the previous settings. So if you remember them, honestly, you can just use those, but we're just gonna go ahead and go through these real quick. So highlights 29, shadows negative 68, whites negative 44, blacks 25 we're close to it doesn't have to be exact and then the curves are going to be the same kind of just make that round crush highlight effect and then bring the shadows down just to add a little bit more contrast just to where you feel like that deep like that deep black coming through and that to me looks amazing so we're going to continue to move on we're going to add 11 in the temperature to warm it up a bit the tint we're going to go negative two and then we're gonna go to the color grading and this is where we're gonna add like the the filmic sort of like hues into it on the shadows we're actually gonna bring like the slider about right here i would say about like an eighth towards the green hue it just adds like that green hue in the shadows like it says the mid-tones we're not even gonna go ahead and touch but the highlights we're gonna do just slightly like ever so slightly towards the magentas and as you can see it is affecting the highlight a bit like it kind of just adds like more magenta tones to the highlights and honestly just adds that film look so now as you guys have gotten that dialed in let's go ahead and add some grain again probably sick and tired of me saying this just play with it see what looks good for this image i think we could actually go a little bit more aggressive with the grain and it'll look fire and dude i literally think we got it dialed in just that quick all right guys so you guys have completed the film looks master class i hope this video is very very valuable so those of you who want to like up your photography game either like just in general portfolio work or on your instagram feed believe it or not i actually use these instagram presets on my photos as you guys can see a couple photos here on screen i use them i love them so I figured you guys would like them as well. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.